Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Touch of Kate Kitchen with our pot. Her pot. My name is Mrs. Kate and Itamada, CEO of Touch of Kate Kitchen with our pot. Her pot. Okay, so you're welcome to our online for the toy cake class. Okay, so you see, we already have one that we're going to be doing the two tier for the toy cake. Okay, so I've done this one already. So I'm going to be doing this, okay, so that you see how I actually achieved this, okay. Now, you see this, this is actually a grated fondant. What I did was to make my fondant, okay, like um, days ahead, it could be a week before the actual date of baking the cake, or five days, it all depends, you just, you know, for now, add extra, like, add more safety to it, okay, then you cut it into a ball shapes, or any kind of shape, that you know, you can easily hold and grate, and it can easily get dried, okay. So this was how I achieved this. I just take I use my normal grater, okay? Let me just grate it on the table so you see it. And I'll just grate. I'll just grate, 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 grate a little. Okay, I'll put it to the wrong side. So you see? So you grate as much as you want, okay? So you just do, you can even grate them before that day. So you can do it like a week to Great it a day to the day you're coming, you're doing your cake, okay? So this was how I achieved all this, okay? All right, so that's that. So now we're going to be trimming our cake, okay? Then to achieve a folded um, towel, it's just the same way you achieve your um, folded wrapper, your folded is here and go, you know, you want to do all this anything folded wrapper, folded clothes, whatever, okay? So we're going to be trimming this cake to give us that folded towel or folded wrapper shape, okay? All right, okay. I want to, okay, we want to trim. Uh, cake, okay, so this is actually a size 8, a size 8 square shape, okay, and I'm just going to make it a rectangular shape by trimming the two parts, okay, and I'm getting that for the wrapper, it's not really high, so what I'm going to do is just level this, and make sure, you can see, the cake is already level, but let's flip over, When trimming, just get your make sure you put your pan so you can put in your cake, okay? And you feel like I'm not gonna have much cake to trim out, so that's why I didn't do it. Like I said, I don't put butter cream in between my fondant cakes. I always say that in my class in what my online class, my normal class. Okay, so first of all, I want to get a rectangular shape. I'm cutting more from the two sides. I could decide to just cut like this, okay? I just want to trim all sides. I'm going to cut from this side and this side more than this side and this side so that it will give me a rectangular shape. If you have a rectangular pan, better, okay, you can use it to bake your cake so you don't trim much, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to trim a little from this side, maybe to just like trimming from the back out. Okay, I'm going to do some for the other side. Okay, so now when we get our folded um, wrapper um, shape, okay, remember your folded wrapper, you don't have sharp edges. First, I'll start the shape. So, so I'm going start breaking my edges. Okay. 
please trim bit by bit. Okay, so, so now I want to get the um, wrapper, the folded wrapper pattern, okay? So this is what you do, you mark. Gently trim it out. I've already marked, I marked like this by using my um, my serrated knife, like this. You saw it when I did like this. You saw when I did like this, so I just marked it. So that's where I'm going to follow. Take it with small cake. If you have a small knife, you can use. If you're not sure, you can work with your long serrated knife. I need my hand. Please always remember to wash your hands before you start working on your cakes, okay? Okay. Okay, so you see what we have? This is what we have. Okay, this is what we have. So I'm going to repeat this on this other part, okay? So when I'm done, I'll just come close. Now, this is what we have here. You see, now you're looking forward it. So I'm going to repeat the same thing, the same um, um, thing I just did. I'm going to leave here. Now, when I'm done, I'll just come coach. When you do your come coach, your normal kit, okay? And I'll get back to you when you're about to cover. Okay, so we're done come coaching. So we're going to make use of blue fondant, okay? I'm going to be repeating the same color. Okay, so it looks like um, a set of towel, okay, like two sets of towel, you know one will be bigger than the other. So this is going to be on top of that, okay. Alright, so I'm going to make it of blue fondant, this is my fondant, okay, it's already needed, so I just want to roll and cover, okay. We're going to make use of edible glue, this is just your water and CMC. So what I do is I put CMC, I don't measure, just put a little CMC in water and leave it to set with time, this you this thick paste. Okay, you can use the water, but the reason I like using this one is because you know this one is dry, so you need something thicker than water to hold it. Okay, so that's why I'm using this. Now, when you think pizza cutter, uh, paper cutter, you can use it for your that's like my finger too, uh, my brush, then my rolling pin. Okay, then this brush, I bought this brush on the purpose of my cake just to create an imprint. Okay, there's a particular um, sorry, design I wanted to create. Okay, you know, that rough design. Okay. Alright, so that's why I got it on purpose of um carry from supermarket from um I think supermarket, yeah, that's why I got my for me it's conflow. I make it of conflow a lot, mostly when I'm doing my cakes, okay? So now I want to start. So I'm just gonna cut some little fondant. I'm gonna keep this back in my ziplock. Remember always put your fondant in your ziplock when you are not making use of it, okay? Make sure you're only bringing out the one you're using at the moment. It doesn't get dry and all that. Okay, so I'm just gonna knead. I'm gonna knead, I'm gonna roll. Okay, when I'm done rolling, I'll get back to you guys. Alright, okay, so you see, I'm done rolling my fondant, okay? I just rolled and shrimp, okay? Alright, so you see the reason why I actually got this. Now look at what I'm gonna do with it. She's giving it that, um, you know, roughness. Okay, so I'm going to first of all start with this, here. Put on there. Okay, so the next, we should put my little thing. I'm 
gonna put this. You see, it's climbing this. It's climbing this. When covering this part, okay, watch. Make sure you use your hand. Let it go inside. Even if it's not looking smooth, you don't need to bother yourself because remember, we're going to cover it with what we grated, okay? It's our grated fondant. So you see we have here, already okay? So I'm going to do the same thing for this part, okay? I'm going to start, I'm going to put my edible glue at the edge. Then I'll cover here the same way I cover this part, okay? So when I'm done, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so you see? You see this one we have, you see the part I covered before? The other part I've covered it, okay? So now I need to put one, um, when I say stripe here, stripe here, or is it stripe? Okay, stripe. Okay, I'm just gonna cut straight, okay? I did same thing I did for this, just roll that and I use this to create that um, imprint. Okay, so I'm just going to put my edible grip at the center. And grip. For them, I need to let me shift this a little. This is what we have. So now let's do the finishing, which is applying this. We can even do the part so you see it. So what you do is you take an edible glue. Make sure you apply it very well. Take and spread. So we have a lot of dropping, it's very okay. And sticks. 
It's not dropped anymore. So we didn't even drop by sticking. And the ones that will stick will be enough, okay? To give what you're looking for. So this is just how you do it. You put here every part of it. So as you can see, it's already coming out. See it? So I'm just going to apply this on every part, except this center. I won't. I won't apply anything here, as in at the middle. It's going to be like, so I'm just going to apply this. See, it will get here and stop. So all you need is just your Eddie Bogle, which is your CMC and water. I don't make sure. I look, I'm just pull it to CMC in water, leave it to set, to mix. So you see, this is how we're going to do everything. This whole part will be covered with this. Also, this whole part will cover, so we'll be left to just this place, okay? So that's that. So this is the class. For the full tour, okay. So when I'm done, I'm gonna take a picture. Okay, I'm gonna do a video of the finished work anyways. I'm also gonna take a picture. Okay, I'll send to the group, okay? So once again, thank you so much for signing to this class. Please, please, please make sure you do your practicals. It's it looks easy when you're watching, you're not doing it. But when you're doing it, you actually like it's not as easy as you think, okay? So it's good to practice to so really know where you're having um flaws, you know, where you're making where I'm having lapses, so you're making mistakes, so that you can ask your questions and be corrected, okay. Alright, so do have a lovely night rest. Thank you.